Hey children, my name is Mark the Miner, and I'm here to give you a little lesson on panning gold, and we're also going to run a sluice box. Now, the material we got here came from the Bristol Bay area, and this is the hard rock it comes from. As you can see the quartz, this is a quartz, and this is shell, and as, as this heat rises, the gold a lot of times will place between the shell and the quartz. A lot of times you'll find, that's where you'll find the gold in hard rock. Now, after this rock is weathered and deteriorated into dirt, that's when we're going to try to find the gold within the dirt. Uh, hard rock mining is a little bit tougher to extract the gold, but when it's in, in uh, sand, it's much easier. Now, I know your teacher, Mrs. Segura, has supplied you each with a special bag of sand, and hopefully there's gold in there. We never know, uh, so we're going to find out. Now, I'm using a gold pan today. But any pan will work for this. You can get a pie pan, uh, any pan will work. A gold pan's a little better because it has these ripples here. Sometimes it's a little easier to separate it, but you, you can use a pie pan at home, a skillet, whatever your parents will allow you to use to separate the gold from the, the dirt, hoping there's some gold in there. First thing we're gonna do, we're gonna dump it all into my, into my uh, pan. I got water here. You, a lot of times, of course, when we're out in the bush, we're doing this in a creek or in a pond or something. But uh, this is what we got here. So I'm gonna bring this in here, and I'm gonna sluice this around. I'm gonna try to get the, oh, as much, as, the gold's heavier than the uh, dirt, so the gold will stay on the bottom. So what you wanna do is you wanna shake that down. Make sure you get the gold on the bottom and kind of separate the dirt. Let the, let, let the light overfill flow over the top. You gotta work it quite a bit, and hopefully there'll be some gold in here, and sometimes you gotta work a little more on that, but I'm just gonna, for time's sake, try to do it fairly fast here. Again, I'm working it, working it, working it, getting the, getting most of the dirt out, then I'll start, I'm gonna get a little more out of there. I had quite a bit of fill in there. Hopefully you guys won't have quite that much in your bags. Okay, then I'll, then I'll sluice it around, and the gold will end up on the top. And I sluice it around. Sluice. Holy cats, what do we got there? Sluice it around. I'm gonna have to get a little more of that fill out of there. I have a little, still a little too much fill in there to find any gold, so let me. I'm going over those ripples. Let's see what we can find here. Whoop. See, there's some rocks in here. We don't need those. Uh oh, holy cats. Holy cats, what do we got there? Look at this. Look at this. See how the gold stays up on the top of the pan? And the other stuff goes down low. Let's get that a little bit finer, too. And you can kind of pick your rocks out if you can. That, that will knock some of the smaller gold loose. You can see how that gold's sticking up in the top of the pan. Holy cats, this is huge. Now, it's, you, when you find gold like this, you have some choices to make. You can either help a family in need or buy a Lamborghini. <laughs> it's kind of a personal choice. I think I'm gonna go maybe split it, buy me a Chevy and uh, help a family in need with the other half. But anyway, that's how you pan gold. Gives you the basic uh, uh, ounce look, looks of it. Now, we'll go over and we'll run a sluice box. In a sluice box, you run a lot more material. Uh, a lot of times, you, you will uh, sluice it, and then you'll use that fine material and pan that out to get the fine gold. We're gonna use this, it's called a sluice box. And as you can see, there's ripples in the sluice box, and we're gonna run water. We're gonna put our material here, we're gonna water down this, and as the material slides out, the, the lighter stuff will, will wash out the bottom and hopefully we'll find some gold held up in, in, uh, along these ripples here. And also this green stuff is called miner's moss and the real fine gold will get caught up in that. And a lot of times you rinse that in a bucket of water and then pan that or blue bullet or whatever you want to do to get the real fine gold out. And when you set up your sluice box, generally you set it up in a string and you want a pretty good flow of water going through there, so it'll push the big rocks and stuff out. There are several things you want to be sure, you, if you can, get it as level as possible and at a pretty good angle. It takes quite a bit of water pressure. 
And again, you'd have your crick running through here traditionally, but since we're doing this at home, we're just gonna be using a hose. What you do is you take your material. Again, this is stuff we've got in front of you. Just put your material right there at the top of the, top of the sluice box. And then you take your water and the hose, hopefully it'll work. Hopefully we'll have enough pressure here to move this. And we just start washing the material, material down, down, down through there. And traditionally, you'd have a lot more, more pressure than this here in the creek. You'd want a lot more water. But you see how it's starting to run over the ripples there. And uh, you'd want a little more flow than this, but uh, hopefully this will work just for demonstration purposes. You see how that light stuff is running right off the end. We'll see what happens here, of course. Here comes in some rocks, some heavier rocks coming out. You see the rocks going out. Holy cats. And a lot of times they'll pick those rocks out of there because that, that can bump your gold out if, if you're, you're not careful. Okay, let's take a look what we got. Here's, look at these ripples. Here's some rocks. Oh, wow, look at this, look at this, right here. And on this, this they're bigger, heavier pieces, a lot of times land right on this black stuff. This first ripple, this is obviously very heavy gold. And you can see how it catches up on all the ripples all the way down. There's some more there. Here's some more here. This was an incredible, incredible bunch of dirt here to get that much gold out of this one thing. But that's the basic premises. Like I say, you probably want to run a little faster water down it, or you definitely would than the, this pressure we have here out of just a guard hose. But uh, that'll give you the basic ideas. Like I say, you want to set it flat. You want your water coming here. You pour your material in and let it flow. And usually I'll run, you know, 10, 12 buckets through, unless I'm seeing some obvious gold. Uh, you know, and I always look, at, look to see what's obvious, like we have here, all the obvious gold we have here, cut off of these ripples and such. And then I'll, I'll clean out the uh, miner's moss and see what I got for fine gold. But anyway, that's a very basic idea of how you uh, sluice gold like they did in the old days.